So today is March 6th, 2024. And I've got um, the deck beams sitting there in place. They're not epoxied in yet, just test fitting everything. Um, it's looking really good. Uh, so this is just the forward um, part of the boat, building it in two parts. So there's the aft keel section there. Um, all the deck beams for the aft section are all here. They're all ready to go in. And uh, I just thought I'd put these in and check the fit and everything before I start epoxying them in place. So um, they came out really, really well. If you can kind of see that they're all nice, nice and lined there. Everything lined up really well. And then I test fit the stringers in here on, on this on the starboard side. So there's a stringer down here on the bottom and then this one up on top. And the way it will work is there's a stringer and then you can see there's a little notch to the side of the stringer that's a quarter of an inch wide. Um, so there'll be a piece of quarter inch plywood at this one, so it's sort of sitting in there to give the indicate the the idea. So a piece of quarter inch plywood that goes down through um, and fills the space in between the two stringers. So it'll be epoxied to the. It's hard to get the right angle here. Epoxied to the stringer, top and bottom, so that creates like an I beam section in here, and those will go down through this hole um, either side of the boat same distance out either side which will give it a lot of um, stiffness and strength and then I've just been playing around with the um, curve of the deck here so I just put a couple of battens on there just playing around with ideas what it might look like um, I probably will put the um, deck plywood on First the bottom plywood and then the deck plywood and then uh, cut everything, you know, put a batten on it. Uh, once I put the two hulls together, um, even just temporarily put them together, line the whole thing up and then, and then cut this all at one shot. Uh, that way it's all nice and straight and a fair curve. At least that's currently the plan. So um, what I'm going to be doing is gluing these deck beams on and then flipping this over. Um, the other way, putting the bottom of the boat on the plywood on the bottom of the boat um, and epoxying that in place and everything on all these on all these deck beams and then um, and fiberglassing it down there and including putting there will be um, a diagonal piece in here like this that will give this a bit more um, strength um, and then also the, the point of that is so that as the boat is coming into a wave or whatever it's got the it's got the bow which is very sharp and narrow as it lends in the cell phone makes it look way narrower than it even is but anyway um so this the and the water line is up here um so it's about a foot of the bow in in the water um so that part, this part will slice through the waves very nicely, but I don't want them slapping on this, on the flat section. So um, the bottom, um, just like the deck will follow about the same curve, it'll touch the water. Um, assuming that the water is flat and calm, it touches the water right back about here. Um, so I don't want it slapping and everything on there. So I'm gonna put a little diagonal piece in here like this just to um, help with the, with the waves and the motion of the boat, um, primarily in the forward half of the boat, but it'll um, basically taper off um, as it goes down the stern on this piece here. It'll it'll fade away um, relatively quickly. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Um, the other thing I'm doing is I've got um, I've got a bunch of large swivel casters and. What I'm going to be doing is building uh, some large dollies, just sort of like there's a very little tiny moving dolly kind of thing there. I'll um, be building some large dollies with these swivel, large swivel casters so that as I um, get this 
going and and um, it gets heavier and heavier and I need to switch out um, the, either the forward half or the you know the back half um, as I'm working on it <clears throat> I'll be able to have these um, both of these parts just sitting on um, dolly so there'll be a dolly up front and a dolly in the back um, actually sorry there's gonna be one one eight foot long dolly for the forward hull one eight foot long dolly for the for the back half of the hull um, and then once the um, sometime in the future once the two parts are joined together then those will also serve to be able to roll the whole boat out and down into down to the street down there I live in a really narrow street and I'm figuring a guy with a one of those um, boat trailers that with the hydraulic lifts and everything will be able to come up on the road and, and scoop the boat up and take it out but there's no way he's going to make it backing into my driveway so I will be um, rolling the boat out and down down the driveway and then turning it so that he can come and pick it up at some point um, so yeah so those dollies will serve the purpose of getting these pieces in and out of the shop as I need to switch switch between which one I'm working on and then at the end get it out of here and, and down to the road so that it can be picked up um, yeah so hope that's um, interesting and hope you like that uh, I like I'm liking the way it looks I think it's looking really good um, you know originally the deck was going to be you can see i added it um this extra bit out here originally the deck was going to stop here um and the boat was going to be about six feet wide now it's going to be about seven feet wide so i'm adding a little bit um and most of that extra width will be in the aft part of the boat it'll still be fairly narrow up forward and then um the widest part will probably be about two-thirds of the way back and then the transom is a is a um, about six feet wide or so way way aft there um, so it'll just taper a little bit in the aft part thanks for watching